Nobody's here yet. <laughs> You guys hop on here. Let me know you're here. It may be a minute or two early, but we're getting ready to get started. I can get this off. There we go. Let me know when you hop on here, where you're watching from. We're gonna make some keto bread today. I'm excited about that. I'll tell you why I'm so excited about it in just a minute. Hi, Ruby. I am doing great. Thanks for asking this, Ruby. Do me a favor, my screen or something, if something's not been working on here and it looks like y'all are only getting like half of me, Am I all the way in the middle? Ruby, I know that you're here. Am I centered on the screen? Because it looks like I'm centered and then when I actually look at the video, I'm not in the middle. I'm like somewhere on the side. Somebody let me know, am I in the middle? Hey, honey. <laughs> Hi, Darlene. Am I in the middle of the screen? Charles Black, I know you're watching. Am I in the middle? Thanks, Ruby. My husband has a, a doctor's appointment over the phone, so he's probably on the phone. He is hoping to get off uh, so he can come up here and say hello. Hey, honey. Honey, if you want to come up here before the doctor calls you, you can come up and say hello to everybody. I know they want to see you before I get started on this bread recipe. Here he comes. I hear him. <laughs> Hi, Edna. Thank you. Honey. Okay, he might be on the phone. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hi, Darlene, Edna, we got Charles, we got Ruby. All right, if you're watching, um, go ahead and let me know where you're watching from. That would be really great. What's, I know that Ruby's in Canada. Uh, she won our giveaway one time and we got her, we got it to Canada. <laughs> I am making bread today and I'm bending over just a little bit because of my screen. But um, the reason I am so excited to make bread today um, is I've been missing it. You can make sandwiches, and like y'all already know, most of you watched my video from yesterday, and I haven't been full keto for about a week and a half. Things going on around here. Just been basically eating what everybody else is eating, and that is not good for me because that's, for me, it's like a, whew, a spike in weight. Thankfully, uh, for because of these things right here, I haven't gained any weight, although I feel like it, I feel bloated, but I, you know, I'm back on keto and I'm missing sandwiches. I actually like sandwiches. Chicago, all the way from Chicago. Thank you for watching and supporting me, Edna. Um, so anyway, I'm going to make a, make a loaf bread. I didn't know if I was going to make just a slice of bread, you know, to make a sandwich for the day or a whole loaf. Makes more sense to me. Just go ahead and make a whole loaf and get it out of the way. I don't know what you think, but that's what I'm going to do. And just to let you know, this is not my recipe. I got this recipe out of our um, secret group. So if you want this recipe, it doesn't belong to me. <laughs> Here it comes. You're going to have to type group in the comments if you're not in the group already. And I'll tag you to this recipe or you can write it down as I say it. There hey, he everyone. There he is. <laughs> My husband's been, um, well, you know, he's been recouping from surgery, and he should have done been recouped, but he's been bad. Yeah. <laughs> and he keeps hurting himself. Is that what you do? Yes, and I stay in a lot of pain. A lot of trouble. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Well, that is your name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I've got to live with you, right? <gasps> he does. He cannot <laughs> leave. <laughs> All right. Just want to say hi to y'all. I'm waiting on the doctor's call. 
Yep, he's waiting on the doctor to give him a call. So this recipe actually has a lot of eggs in it, which is, you know, usually you have a lot of eggs when you use coconut flour, but today we're not using coconut flour, we are actually using almond flour. So I've already busted the eggs up and I will let them come to room temperature because I'm gonna be putting melted butter in there. And of course, you know, you don't wanna put cold eggs with melted butter or unless you cool the butter down um, because you don't want it to get cooked. <laughs> That's not what you're cooking. You're cooking to make, to make, uh, Ruby, Ruby said, hey honey. He will see that and I promise you, he will respond. So I'm gonna go ahead and beat the eggs up first. And it's in the directions it says to, to do this for about two minutes uh, until it's really, really good and fluffy. I don't know. That sounds to me like it'll whip. We'll find out. My grandson Michael is watching. Hey, Michael. Let's see if I can do this without splash. Wouldn't it be funny? No, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. <laughs> so we get to do this for a couple of minutes. I did not see a video on this, um, even in the group it's not a video, it's just a recipe, so I'm praying that I do this right, I'm just going exactly by the instructions, so this is seven eggs, and I'm just going to beat it up really good for about two minutes, is anybody kind to me, <laughs> because I'm not. About 30 seconds, maybe. How many of you have tried the Aldi bread? Have you tried the Aldi bread? If you have, type bread in the comments. I want to see who's with me on that. Then I'll tell you my soft story. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Thank you for watching. I think it's been about a minute. I'm doing it for another minute or so. It says to beat the eggs in a bowl until fluffy. I don't know if that means it's supposed to be white. <laughs> but it's going to be fluffy. Anybody time in me? About another 30 seconds ought to do it. What you think? <laughs> Nobody's time in me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Cheryl. Yes, Cheryl. That is seven whole eggs. And you beat it for, they said, approximately two minutes until it's fluffy. I didn't see a video on this. I just uh, got it out of our group. And um, there, it was just a recipe written out. So I went ahead and did this so that I'm doing a video. So hopefully everybody will be able to see how it's done. So we got the seven eggs. I, I hope it was about two minutes. Hi Kelly. Um, and the next thing I do is I add melted butter and coconut um oil to the mix. I melted it already and I put it together in here. This here is um, a whole stick of butter, real butter um, or you can put um, just half you, half a cup however you do it but my, I just use the stick which is half a butter and I put two tablespoons of melted coconut oil in here and I'm going to put that in here. I hope this bowl is big enough <laughs> by the time I add everything else to it. Put that in there and then we're going we're gonna to beat that together just a little bit. Now, I was telling you a little story about all of these, and the reason I'm doing this bread is because 
I've tried Aldi's bread and I like Aldi's bread, but in our in our area there's not no bread at Aldi's, no none of the zero carb bread. Um, and some people that are doing strict keto won't eat it anyway because of the ingredients that's in it, which I haven't really seen any bad ones, but um, you know, there's things in there I'm sure that if you're strict keto that you're being very careful for. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna make this bread because I tried to buy some of the Aldi bread online and it was like thirty dollars for two loaves of bread. I'm like I ain't even going to go there. I will just make it. <laughs> I have everything here to make it. Hi, Vanessa. Thank you for watching. Kelly, uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. So I have in here seven eggs, whole eggs, and I, be, I put um, one stick of butter, which is half a cup, and two tablespoons of coconut oil melted, and I stuck that in there. The next thing I'm going to do is put the dry ingredients in here, and then I'm going to mix it really good. Then we're about done, you guys. I'm going to put in excuse me two cups of almond flour I went ahead and took this out of the refrigerator this morning so it wouldn't be so hard because almond flour can get really really lumpy clumpy and all that good stuff and I just wanted to go ahead and do this get it out that might be enough and I've used the super fine the really really fine um blanched almond flour it doesn't have the husks and stuff in there from the from the almonds um i do know that if you use the the, the one with the husk in it the bread is going to be heavier and it may not rise at all um so you do want to use the super fine if any way possible so there's one cup and two cups Okay, so there's two cups of almond flour in there. It's getting really, this bowl's getting full. I hope I ain't gonna have a huge mess on my hands. So we put that in there, a teaspoon of baking powder, which we had to get some baking powder because I've been baking so much, it's about gone. And I, does anybody know the difference between regular baking powder and double acting? Some recipes is calling for double acting and I ain't got a clue what that is. I don't know what it does. I'm going to have to Google it. But this is just regular um, baking powder. It didn't say. I mean, this is double acting, which is what I got from the store, but it doesn't say double acting that you have to have. Um, and then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is what will um, pretty much make this the bread consistency. And I got this here off of Amazon, I think, but you can now get this at Walmart. They have xanthan gum. They have it in most of the, uh, the the Whole Foods stores, the Costco's and things like that. You can get it. So I'm going to put half a teaspoon of xanthan gum in there. Xanthan gum, but also you do not want to go over. <laughs> xanthan gum is what it says it is. It's gum. Um, and it kind of like takes on the, um, the action of gluten in bread where it causes it to bind together really good. All right, so now I'm going to beat this real good. Try not to get it everywhere. Let me do this right quick. Push it down inside the bowl. I should have got a bigger bowl. So this is a tip. If you go, when you guys make it, get a bigger bowl. <laughs> because I forgot. You keep adding stuff to it, it just gets more in there. Hi, Ronald. Thank you for watching, too. All right. It says to beat this up for about two minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Anybody timing me? <laughs> automatically mixes it together. Or at least that's what it says on the recipe. I made this bread, I think, I think this is what I made one time, several months back. And it's really good. It's, you can toast it. I had it for breakfast in the morning. 
Now as far as macros go, if you're counting your uh, macros, it doesn't have that on the recipe. Uh, if you like, I can figure it up for you. Um, and then it depends on how big the slices are. You're welcome, Cheryl. It's getting really gummy. This is cool. It feels like a bread dough. <laughs> Okay, so I, I don't know if that was a full two minutes because I can, don't have any way of um, checking my time, but it looks great. I do know that for the egg part, to beat it for two minutes, I know that you're basically whipping air into it, and when you whip air in, you have a fluffier bread. One thing um, that the directions do tell you, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you the rest of the directions I'm getting ready to pour this in here. On the directions, it does tell you that when you take it out of the oven, to put it on its side in the pan that you bake it in. Now, I am using um, silicone. because Nothing sticks to it, but I went ahead and sprayed it anyway. If all you have is a tin or a regular pan, cooking the pan, you might want to line it with some parchment paper make, or make sure that you spray it really, really well so it won't stick. I went ahead and sprayed this down anyway, although nothing sticks to it, but I did it anyway. I mean, you can't go overboard, I don't think, on making sure something's not going to stick to the pan, especially something like a bread that you want to take out. So when you do bake it, um, make sure you lay it on its side like this. So, And it says the reason that you're doing that is so that the, it doesn't fall, basically, so that after it rises, it'll stay risen um, like a regular white bread would. So that's the reason it tells you to do that. Now for the baking instructions, you would bake this at, if you're doing Fahrenheit, it's 355 degrees. I don't know why it's 355. You don't see that a lot, very often, but they were very specific with 355. So I'm, I'm I've already preheated my oven to 355. If you are doing Celsius on your stove, it's 180 on your stove if you're using Celsius. And you'll cook it for 45 minutes in the oven. And of course, everybody's oven is different. So if I were you, around 40 minutes, I would go ahead and check it. And you know, you can do the toothpick test or the a really thin knife test down in the middle to see if it's done. If it comes out clean, it's done. But I'm gonna, I like my bread brown. <laughs> you'll find out from my grandsons. They're like, Grandma, you overcook everything. Well, I just happen to like it that way. <laughs> So I'm gonna pour it in here and I'll show you what it looks like in the pan. And after I'm done cooking it, I am gonna show you a few, I'll share some pictures of it. Um, and then of course, I'll give you an honest opinion of what it tastes like. So I'm going to just mash it down, spread it out in the pan. This is already pretty. And I have some ideas, and I was like, hmm, I might do that this time. So Cheryl says, I'm confused. Did you say to put it on its side? No, not to bake it, but to cool it down. Once you get it out, um, you'll want to lay it on its side and let it cool in the pan for, it didn't say how long, but let it cool in the pan. That way it doesn't fall because um, it's risen right now. Or when it's cooked, it's going to be it's going to be higher, you know, risen like regular bread, but it will fall if you sit it straight up like this while it's cooling down. So you want to do that just to keep it uh, keep it tall, <laughs> keep the bread tall. All right. <clears throat> so that is it. Forty five minutes in the oven, three fifty five Fahrenheit or one eighty um, Celsius. So there it is. Can't wait. Next time I make a bread like this, it's gonna be a sweet bread, and I'm gonna put some cinnamon in it. I'm gonna make an icing for it. So that will be coming up probably next month. Can't wait. So anyway, you guys, do me a favor. Share this out. 
click on follow if you're not following me already so that you'll be notified. If you share this out, um, I'll definitely put your name in the drawing for next for the end of June. Um, the more you share, the more you know, at times your name is put in there. So you have a bigger chance of winning. The one that shares the most gets a, 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 another prize, so which is really great. Um, I love giving, and this is my way to give back. Um, so anyway, if you want in the group where you can actually see the recipe that I'm using, um, because I can't give it to you written down on here because it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to someone else. Her name is Sam, and I don't want to take this recipe away from her. So um, just type group in the comments. I'll put you in there and tag you to this recipe. If you're not already in there, if you are already in there, say, um, say in the group, and then I'll tag you to the recipe. <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful day. God bless you. Check back later on. I'm going to put some, you're welcome. I'm going to put some pictures on there and you'll be able to see the finished product. Bye you guys.